Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and I've got an unboxing to do, so we're going to be working with the Sphero Rover. We just got it in today. Um, I'm pretty excited to open this. I couldn't wait. I, I should have waited for my son to be taking his nap, um, but I couldn't really wait, so he's going he's gonna to be here. Um, hope you don't mind. All right, so let's keep him away from the tripod. So yeah, I'll, you can hit the K key to pause the video to look at the different sides of the box. So go ahead and pause if you need to read this. And again, that's the K key. I know some people like to look at the box. Oh, thank you. That was a big help. All right, so that's the box. We're going to start peeling off the top, this outer layer. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. This thing is programmable in Python. Oh, check that out. That's pretty cool. Get it to focus there. All right, it looks like there's a... Check that out. Ooh. What do you think of that, bud? Get that focused. There we go. So yeah, it's a pretty cool box. What do you think? Yeah, that's the robot. Let's see, how's this going to come out of there? Okay. So yeah, we got this a few days early. I can't release this video yet, but all right, so here's the getting started guide. Now one thing to note, I don't know if it's true, but check online before you trust the um, universal port here, the UART. Um, this is supposed to be pretty rugged, so that should be fine. Um, but anyway, check before you plug anything into that uh, extra port. All right, so yeah, this is the robot built for the creatives of tomorrow. Maybe Alex is a creator of a couple decades from now. Not quite tomorrow, right? You just break everything that I make. Actually, case in point. What are you going to do to that? Yep. A destructor of today and a creator of tomorrow. Ooh, sweet. So, um, this is the, the top baseboard. Um, so this is what you're going to, we're going to be creating like three, was I even holding that in the camera? We're going to be 3D printing a lot of different stuff to mount on top of this. So this I'm really excited about. This is one of the features that I really like of the robot. Oh, so yeah, these just fold out. Some people, like, really want to see how the boxes work or something. All right. Some people are fans of dunnage. Okay, so this looks like the, uh, the battery itself, probably. Yep, that's pretty slick. Oh, it's got a USB-C charge port right there. Gentle buddy. And then this looks like the, uh, the cord. It looks, it looks like actually a, this is a nicer cord than I expected. Yeah, this is a pretty nice cord. All right. Let's see here. How do we get that in there? So there's a power button. All right, so you got a twist. So there's this thing here that we got a twist to get that battery in. I have no idea if it's got charge yet. So I'll be right back. Gentle button. Just because it's an off-roader doesn't mean you have to treat it that way. Let's see. Get the focus here. So there's this thing that we got to twist probably to unlock. Seems that way anyway. So pop that, see how this goes. Sweet. And then uh, hopefully we still got focus. Oh, I got to open the battery itself. Bonk my son in the head with it. So yeah, here's the battery again, and we've got the USB-C, um, the contact points, pretty slick, actually. I'm going to pop this in, I assume it goes this way. It's got a battery indicator. Oh, we've got to twist that back on. It's a little unfortunate it doesn't just snap. Is that going to, there we go. Alright, so we've got power. 
And I still haven't update, up, uploaded the app or anything yet. No, no. Let's see, so we can pop this right off. And, oh, that's pretty cool. You can actually see in there. This must be the, uh, the UART. So let me read this. Um, pop this here. So it says to uh, download and connect the Sphero Education app before use. All right. So that's something I'll end up doing. Uh, I probably don't need to show you how to do that. That's fairly simple. Um, but yeah, this is the robot. You can actually see in here, you can see the motors. Those are, those are a little bigger than I expected. Um, and it's, this is actually quite nice. These look like pretty big headers that are relatively easy to reverse engineer. Um, the, uh, this feels quite, quite solid. This actually feels good, um, the way the motors and everything turn. It's pretty smooth. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get started with this. So this is the unboxing of the uh, Sphero Rover. And we're going to have more content for you soon coming up. Um, probably all released on the same day. Um, we're going to be trying to show um, how to program this thing, whether it's with the Raspberry Pi. I might be making, because they have Arduino as well, I just don't think it's ready yet. We're probably going to try to make a parallax propeller port, because I, I like that microcontroller much better than the Arduino. It's much more powerful. Um, but yeah, we will keep you guys up to date. This is Keith from Kinbert, and we will see you guys later. Bye-bye. I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, should I? What? One more thing. All right, so we've got um, this top roll cage part. So we'll get that out for you. You really like that USB cable, don't you? So here's that roll cage. Um, it's pretty nice. It's got some flex to it, so this is going to absorb some impact. It feels pretty durable. And then we've got the uh, the actual top mounting plate here, and this is this is one of the other exciting things about this robot, is you can make just about anything. Let's get the focus right there. Um, you can mount all kinds of stuff to this. These potentially look like standard servo. Yeah, this is a standard servo here, um, and I'm sure there's a rhyme or reason to why they have all these angled like this. There's probably some standard stuff that fits up there, but this certainly looks like servo heads and this is definitely servo. And then here we can see the, uh, the pinout, and hopefully this is correct here. Um, I think there was an update on the website, um, but this pinout is probably correct. We'll find out later. So, goodbye for real this time. See ya. Bye-bye.